This lesson, we're going to learn how to create a brochure using Microsoft Publisher. We want to go over the information we learned in the last lesson, which was about gathering information from the Internet and citing it properly in a Word document. So first and foremost, we went on the Internet and we researched what is cyberbullying. From there, we copied a quote out of this information and we went to a website called citationmachine.net. From citationmachine.net, we cho chose APA style from the left hand side. And from APA style, we chose the source to cite, which was a web page, a non print. So we selected a web page and non print. And then we entered the information from the website that we took the quote from. We added all that information into a Word document. So we quoted and cited our information where we got it from. Now we're going to take it one step further. So we had what is cyberbullying and we had where we cited it from and here's our work cited down here. There are several different questions that you need to answer before you can complete the brochure. A brochure that we're trying to create looks similar to something like this. This is a brochure that was created. Youth Voices, Grow Up Choices, Students Against Violence Everywhere, Save. So this is a brochure, a trifold brochure that was created about cyberbullying. Has information prevention, did you know who can help? Why do people cyberbully? Cyberbullying. So this is the the idea where we want to create something similar to this using a program called Microsoft Publisher. To open Microsoft Publisher, to go to the start menu, all programs, Microsoft Office, and Microsoft Office Publisher 2007. When that opens, you will notice there's a lot of features here that you can use. A lot of different things that you can publish. Anywhere from an advertisement, to award certificates, to banners, to brochures, business cards, business forms, calendars, catalogs, emails, envelopes, flyers, gift certificates, greeting cards. A lot of people like to use this for greeting cards. You can import a Word document. Invitation cards, labels, letterhead, menus, newsletters, paper folding objects, postcards, programs. Quick publications, resume, signs, websites. So there's a whole lot of great, valuable, these are templates that can be used in Microsoft Publisher. So what I'd like you to do is select one that might work best for you and your layout. You don't have to use these, but this is what I'd like you to try first. So select a brochure, and then let's choose one of these that can help start with the formatting. So we'll do simple divider. I click on that. And it will open up shortly. Here we go. I double clicked on it and it opens up into a window that kind of looks similar to Word and PowerPoint and Excel with all the tools up here that we can use to work in our document. However, it's laid out nice for us. It has the, the margins all set for us and everything that we need. So to change information, all you do is you select it. That's all you do. You select the information. Select it and you type it. Cyberbullying. 
So it's going to be your job to fill this all out, put your own graphics here. Same with here. So it has the page dividers for you. And your job is to format and create a document that is a brochure that we can hand out to other students. You can change the template at any time over here. You just click this it pops up and you can change the template anything that you want to do font scheme so you can change here the different types of fonts for the page whatever you'd like to do for that that's your preference making it look good as you can see clicking it changes everything color schemes as well you can do that you can change the color schemes whatever you'd like to do just click back and forth and it does it all for you or you can change it one by one so these are standard set color schemes and this is your page options okay once you're done with your brochure these are your pages down here that you can go back and forth to page one and page two. So here's page one, which is on one side of the paper, and this is on the other side of the paper. So once it's done printing, we can print it back to back, and we can have only one sheet that's printed back to back. Once you're done, I would like you to go up to File, and we're going to say Save As or publish as a PDF, excuse me. So you're gonna click on publish as a PDF. And you're gonna upload this document as a PDF. You're gonna click on 2009 students, find the folder that you need to save it in, and we're gonna call it your first and last name, your period, and cyberbullying and we can leave everything else it will save it as a PDF so we want to make sure the save type is as a PDF that's it and we push publish and then it will convert the document for us and it will open it to show us that we actually saved it as a PDF And this is the document that you're going to upload to our assignments area of our website. So once it opens up, it will show us what it is and make sure that everything is created properly. So as you can see, all the borders are gone, so you can't see the blue lines that were here. You can't see the placeholders. All you see is a nice clean document. And this is what you're going to send me. You're going to send me a PDF. And the reason is most people can read a PDF as well as a JPG. And PDFs are used to give to print houses to print documents out. It's a higher quality. So again, let me wrap let me go over again what we did your information that you've gathered from the website or from the internet about cyberbullying and you quoted and you cited it you're going to place that information into Microsoft Publisher and in the back is where you're going to cite all your work so for here it's going to be work cited and this is where you're going to cite all your work all you're going to do is you're going to take this information and you're just going to right click copy and then you're going to go to your right click paste so now you at least can let people know where you got your information if the fonts too big all you do is you select it as this is too big here as I can see it's much too big I'm going to delete this box I'm going to open this box up a little more. Double click. And I'm going to change this to see if a 9 works. That might be 
I'd even do it smaller. So seven, eight. So it fits up. Yeah, that's better. So I'm going to do my uh, citations as seven. My work cited will be at seven. Perfect. So I'd like you to have at least three works cited on this document. Even though I had you have five on this one, I would like you to pull the best from that document to have three works cited on here. So again, once you're done creating your cyberbullying document, your brochure, how to prevent cyberbullying on our campus, where people can go and people that are being cyberbullying, where they can get help. You go to File, Publish as a PDF, put it in your 2009 students, make sure you name it, your first and last name, your period, in cyberbullying, and make sure that this is selected as a PDF. And once you are done, go back to our online course website and click on the assignment called cyberbullying brochure and upload the upload the assignment thank you and look forward to seeing your brochures about cyberbullying and hopefully they will help out many other students on our campus